Let me tell you something. Jezebel is the head assassinator in charge. Jezebel is married to Satan. And she, he is the head assassin in charge. And the narcissist is the one who's been given the assassination assignment to come after you and to establish the plans of Satan, Jezebel, to assassinate you and take you out. Why? Because there's a high call of God on your life. Because the purpose and the intention for your life and the plan for your life is about to uproot something that the devil long established in your lineage. It's about to uproot it, denounce it, and destroy it. That you came along in the lineage and that you are called to be the pivot in your lineage displeases the devil, it displeases Jezebel. He would like to think that he's got all the lineage, all the lineages, and therefore he's got all the stuff of the lineages, and he's got it in his vault of stolen goods and booty from family to family, from lineage to lineage. But when somebody rises up in a lineage, when somebody rises up in a family line to be able to turn all of that around because they're called out by God, the thief is not going to want to give back what they stole and then have to pay it seven times back. Once somebody has stood up, once somebody has stood up and said, return it. I recognize that this is my lineage stuff. This is my grandmother's stuff. This is my great, 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 great grandmother's stuff. This is my mother's stuff. And I command, give it back. Jezebel is the head assassin in charge. And Jezebel will devise an assassination plan. And will place a target on your back, on your side, on your front. Those daggers that you feel on your body mm -hmm. will place a target on you and will send an assassin, a sniper, to come and take you out. Out of the way. Because the thing that you're doing that is called by God and that's on your life, it's too dangerous for the pattern to be broken. You've been sent to break a pattern, a curse, a hex, a spell. And once you rise up and say, okay, let's do this, God. Let's break this pattern. Let's break this spell. Let's break this curse. What you want me to do? Oh, you become a weapon of the kingdom of God. And the Jezebel doesn't want that. Jezebel is the head assassin in charge the narcissist has been assigned to assassinate you to sabotage your life to assassinate the plan of god for your life your elevation to assassin to to assassinate your prosperity your peace your stability your establishment to assassinate anything that's going to favor you that's going to be a blessing in your life to wipe it out so that you're always in some bondage and you, you, you don't get a breather. When you look at all that it, the narcissist does, all that the narcissist does is to assassinate you, to sabotage you. And, God, uh, uh, and, and Jezebel will use intimidation, usually through the male figures or will use manipulation usually through the female figures. It's not always that way, but it's it's a lot that way. If Jezebel is operating in the in a in a masculine uh, form it comes across as intimidation. In a feminine form it comes across as manipulation. Jezebel will use that these two forms of witchcraft. 
to do what? To keep you quiet, to mute you, to, to get your voice and shut it up, to get you to not speak the truth and call a thing a thing and call a spade a spade. And will use intimidation and manipulation to limit you. Release the spirit of limitation upon your life. Everywhere you go, you're being fired. Every job you get, you're being fired. Everywhere you live, you, you it starts out good. And then suddenly, uh, the people next door are so horrible that you, 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 you kind of worry to go outside. Because, oh, that demon is going to manifest. It's an assignment of assassination. Because you're very important. You're about to break a chain. You're about to break a padlock open. You're about to break a pattern in your lineage. You're the one who's been called. And you have done the most wonderful thing. You've answered the call and you said, okay, let's go. You speak the truths. You don't keep secrets. You don't gossip. You don't talk about people in, 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 in a bad light. You don't uh, wish ill for other people. You wish people well and you wish success for everyone. And that pattern, that toxic pattern of your family, you, you, you are denouncing, you're pulling down, you're destroying, you're taking it captive. You are submitting it under Christ and you're saying, I don't want to be like that. I'm not going to be like my uncles. I'm not going to be like my aunties. I'm not going to be like my mother was. I'm not going to be like my dad was. There are toxicities I recognize and those things I'm going to bring here to the altar to God and say, change me, God. Heal me, God. Restore me, O oh God. Deliver me, O oh God. Break these things off of me. And make in me a new heart, a new person, a new attitude, a new uh, vision, and a new way of being. You are that person who was willing to submit, to be humble, and to obey, and to go with what God wants to do in turning it around for your lineage, in the pivoting for your lineage. You, that person, you said, okay. And of course, Jezebel doesn't want that. Because it would mean then all this booty that was stolen from generation to generation uh, from your lineage, you will then discover and stand up and say, bring it all back and pay me back seven times. Pay me back a seven year restitution and recompense. Pay me back a seven times recompense. Imagine. Who would want that? So I say this to say, stand. Understand that this is an assassination assignment on you. You have a way out. Go to God and ask for protection and ask for God to fight for you. Go to God. And whatever he shows you to say or to utter or to, to speak, to do, to... Do that. Go to God and ask him to watch over you and to fight for you and to uh, deflect the enemy's darts seven directions away from you and to break you free from being the target of the assassination assignment of Jezebel. Pray some different prayers and ask God to erase that assignment with the blood of Jesus Christ and the monitor of Jezebel on your life to be broken never again to reconstitute the assignment to be paralyzed to be rendered null and void ask God to help you to get Jezebel off your back and the assignment to assassinate you off your back to pull down Jezebel to her death and her children to their death as long as nobody repents pull them to their death. And unless somebody rises up to repent, pull everybody to their death, Lord. This is an assassination assignment on you. You have a target on your back and you cannot take that lightly because you have authority and dominion. You are a representative of the kingdom of God. And you've been given the authority to rule and reign and establish he heaven here on earth as it is in heaven. 
and the culture and the kingdom of God here on earth as it is in heaven. So you're not supposed to be running away from some Jezebel assignment to assassinate you and take you out. You're supposed to be turning and speaking to it because you know you have authority and there is a greater host of war with you than there is a great than there is a host with the enemy. Remember when uh, Elisha's servant Gehazi was afraid and was like, "Oh my God, they're gonna kill us! They're gonna kill us, Elisha! They're gonna kill us!" And and he said, "Lord, make this dude see in the spirit." And what became clear to Gehazi, Elisha's servant, was that there was a great host standing behind Elisha and Gehazi, in really a greater host in number than there was with Jezebel. And that the host that was standing with Elisha and Gehazi could not, could not be defeated by the host of Jezebel. There's a greater host with you. This whole Jezebel narcissistic thing it's an assassination assignment. Let's wipe it out. Let's pray the prayers that God would have us pray. If you don't know what to pray, pray in the spirit. Go to God and ask him to set you free from the pursuit, to hide you from the pursuit of Jezebel and catapult you into the things that Jezebel doesn't want you to have and set a table for you before your enemies. Thank you for continuing to come back to this channel. I like to hear from you. So please comment down below um, with whatever comments, whatever feedback, whatever additions you'd like to add on to this message. I uh, thank you so much for stopping by and I appreciate you very much. Uh, stay blessed and be blessed. Bye.